first time I saw this cabin was probably in 1958. At that time, there was a lot more to the cabin. Uh, the creek below here is named Rock Cabin. I assume after the, the cabin here. Uh, Leonard Hay's grandfather ran sheep in this country in the 1880s, and Leonard was born in Rock Springs, and he knew nothing of the history of these cabins. This is one of a, at least four cabins that I know of, all built of rock in this uh, immediate vicinity, and Leonard knew the history of none of them. I first saw this cabin, or the remains of this cabin, around 1969. You know, I wondered about it for a long time because there's a signature here near the door that was very ornately carved in, and very deeply carved in, name of A. Rodriguez. Uh, this is the signature. It's almost worn away. You can't see Rodriguez anymore. All you can see is R-O-D, a little bit of the R, and the first letter is an A that's ornately drawn in here. Uh, I met a guy, uh, I think it was about 1970, or 71. He had been up here studying this and he had been uh, looking for some ruins from a Spanish expedition that he said he'd found some of the references to and some excerpts from the journal from that expedition coming up from Santa Fe. It was a Spanish expedition to explore the North Country and uh, he said that in these journal excerpts he had uh, found a reference to some shining mountains, meaning that they had snow in them. They'd gone up to explore for it in the south end of those mountains. They found gold. And on their return trip, winter hit, and they had to build a kind of a quick cabin to stay in. And uh, they needed a place where there was water and plenty of grass for their horses. And he came to the conclusion that this cabin was the place that they built there which probably would have been in the late 1500s, maybe early 1600s. And it makes sense. There's a lot of grass out here in Rock Cabin Creek. There's a spring right over here about 100 feet away. And this would have been a pretty ideal place to get out of the wind in this little, this little uh, valley down low. It looks to me like Spanish architecture. Oh, that whole story fits, but I have nothing to back it up.